Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today, I'm not playing Star Maid, I'm watching it. Why are you watching Star Maid? Because, uh, well, I did play it, but, uh, this episode kind of messed up, and the audio isn't very good, so I'm doing a voiceover. And what I'm doing here is I'm explaining, um, uh, the project for today, as what I wanted to build a spaceship... Well, duh, you wanted to build a spaceship, and this is Star Maid. I mean, I wanted to build a miner using only the starting resources. So, uh, I counted the starting resources as all the blocks I had, or it gives you it's what 20 power blocks, 20 stabilizers, and all that jazz, plus any starting money. No, oh, dummy, you didn't have that many blocks. Uh, anyway, but I wanted to build a miner using the starting resources. There we go, I stick a salvage miner down there. And uh, just a real basic thing, because I realized my fleet, uh, my, yeah, my fleet, uh, doesn't have any miners. I thought that was interesting, because I'm supposed to be a mining company. Anyway, so I was just going to build this little, basically a spot miner. I think I ended up calling it a mini miner. Um, I'm going to leave the original up, just in case you want to listen to the horrible audio. Uh, and I'm also going to do this voiceover edition. So, um, anywho, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. What I'm doing here is I'm adding salvagers. Uh, I'm only doing them four, four deep. Is in testing somewhere I found under Power 2.0, four deep is the maximum efficiency for salvage. So, making them a five deep wouldn't have done anything. I wouldn't have done anything extra. Now, when I actually go to make a real mining ship, I will, uh, I'll do, do the different setup and show you how I do that. Uh, what are you doing? It looks like I'm adding shields and thrusters. Oh, I was deciding about stabilization. Which I didn't really need stabilization because it was already at whatever percent. But, uh, yeah. Now it's at 70%, 75%. So I could stand to get a bigger... Reactor. Huh. Such is life. And no dummy, you don't have any more stabilizers. Tell you what, this guy. Anyway, uh, looks like, uh, up, yep, here I am explaining, I'm counting the money. Uh, 50,000 credits? Is that what we get started with? I don't remember that. Anyway, I just spent it blindly. Uh, I bought some logic stuff, then I decided not to search for the logic stuff, just buy it. Because I wanted to do all this this entire ship in a single single episode, which I keep, try to keep around 15 minutes. Let's see. Uh, oh, this one ran 16 minutes and 6 seconds. And we're at the 258 mark? Okay. Go away, VLC thing. Now, I'm going to set up my lazy miner circuit, which is uh, what I use to... Uh, basically keep the salvage on as long as I want. No, you don't want a knot there. There you go. Uh, keep the salvage on so I don't have to click and hold. Or click. Or do anything. That's why it's lazy. Anyway, here's my lazy miner circuit. There's probably better ways to do it, but this is the way I do it. Uh, but the n activation goes into that knot. Come on. That knot goes into the and. The inner ship remote goes into the AND, the AND goes into the delay, the delay goes into the activation, and the delay should also go to the salvage module. And there I name the inner ship remote, uh, so you can find it. Nope, not that one, dummy. No, 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 GW, that's the, that's the activate, uh, there you go. That's the salvage, and it's not doing anything because you didn't hook up the delay module, dummy. How do you watch this? This is terrible. Oh, there you go. All right. And there we go. Now it'll cycle on and off. And no, you can't mine the spaceship. Or spaceship. Space station. So stop that. All right. Um, now I'm contemplating reactor stuff. Because this is just a tiny ship. But no, it's not a mining reactor. It's a... It's a is it logistics? Well, I check it out here. No, don't. There you go. No. Uh, not mobility. Why do you even think it's a mobility? Oh, because they give you mobility blocks first. There you go. Mining bonus. I want to get the mining bonus. So it, it gives you more resources when you mine. And you can top that by mining in your own sector. So there you go. 
Then I stopped to say, wait a minute, how many did I need? Because I didn't read it. And it's five. So guess how many I buy? I buy six. No, no, I buy five. <laughs> and I just tack it there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. A unique conduit. And then you need to go actually go in and set up the thing. There you go. Good boy. Yep. And now, whenever this ship mines, it will uh, pick up extra resources. I forget what it is, what the bonus actually is. Did it say 50%? Something like that. You have 50% more stuff at level 2. Uh, then I decide to... If you're doing a speed challenge, why are you doing one block at a time? You have build tools. Use them. There you go. Start from the other end. There you go. Anyway... Um, what was I saying? Oh, mining modules, uh, or reactor modules. There I just throw some hull. This is basically, this is basically a spot miner. Now what I should have done was come in and given it, um, I was just thinking about this. Oh no, what I should have done was not given it, uh, the reactor... Well, no, given it the reactor, but not done the lazy miner circuit, because this is basically a baby's first ship, or something to use when you log in immediately. There we go, trying to give it a little bit of a uh, cockpit here. Yep. And I redo that, because that's not good. Yeah, see. And I'm realizing I don't have a camera, so buy a camera. Instead of clicking buy, I clicked buy amount, put in one, and clicked OK. Yeah. Alright, and added a stabilizer into that empty spot there. And it has a bit of zip, and that is the mining camera, so I can line up more precisely. Alright, what else was I, was I buying? Oh, I was buying a cart. Oh, cargo! And I just bought an amount of cargo. There Good grief, how much money did you spend, JW? You only have 16,000 left. My goodness. And bought a single cargo. There we go. And wired that up to the uh, salvage module. And then added these cargo spaces. I think I added another one or two later on. No, didn't it go from the front? Anyway. 1.5, I think I ended up like 1.6. Uh, cargo capacity. There we go. we we'll just wedge it up a little. And I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not adding armor to it because this is not intended to get into combat. If there's combat, it has enough shields to say, Oh, there's combat. Run, dummy. Hopefully enough sense to charge the jump drive. I did not put an auto... I didn't put any jump modules in it. So, yeah, there's that. There we go. I took those out. I took that out and I put that back. <laughs> uh, making a front window. Turn on your symmetry. There you go. Good boy. I was going to look like I was about to do upy downy symmetry, but then I remembered it needed odd axes. Axes, axes, axes. So I didn't. And watch me do something stupid here. Is it here? Yep. Did you see that? I deleted the block with symmetry and took out the and. It's going to confuse me horribly here in a little bit. Alright, and I did a, the uh, wedges there just so... Um, just so I could uh, have, a, or the cockpit would feel a little more spacious. Now I'm going to click. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to buy some. Oh, buy lights. A uh, glass door, plex door, or not a glass door. Buy plex door, glass, and lights. Oh, and a rail docker. You'd imagine I'd remember this. I just recorded it not long ago. Rail and. Faction, oh, and a faction module. Did I even place the faction module? I don't know if I placed the faction module now that I think about it. I bought it. 
You know what? I don't think I did. Huh. That's interesting. Actually, I don't even have a faction in this world. It's brand new. I just built it to, to make sure I got the starting resources right. Okay. Oh, now I buy lights. I bought five lights because of reasons. I use exactly one. No, that is a lie. A terrible lie. I use two lights. But one of them's off. Alright, there we go. And turned off my flashlight. And I added a chair. You always need a chair. There you go. Then, uh... I added the dock stuff there. Remember, it's rail on right, both pointing to middle. So, docker on left. That's how I remember. Rail on right. Yes. Put that light there and turned it off. Alright, so I can turn it on later if I want to. Or not. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Or spaceship or whatever. I think I kind of like this nifty little platform off the back. You know what? I also should have got a um, gravity block. Put it in it. Also looking at this, I don't think this thing's going to set flat. So if I ever had to land anywhere... And I think, yep, yeah, here's where I use those other cargo... Or some other cargo blocks. I just kind of tuck them in there. Go and just add a few more thrusters, you know, for when, um, don't, don't reboot. For when, um, you know, you get, like, way too much cargo and the ship becomes heavier than you think it's going to. Yeah. There we go. All right. And I'm just kind of wedging now. Wedging a little more. Giving this ship all kinds of wedgies. You got a little overzealous there. You're deleting there, JW. Alright. Oh. Come on. There you go. And one on the other side. Why didn't you use symmetry mode? I'll tell you what. That right there. That right. No, no. Go back. That needed a wedge. Ah. Uh. This is all funky looking little ship. Now I'm going to try out the uh, salvage beams. No, no, I'm going to add jump drive and scanner to the bar. Then I believe here I discuss whether or not it needs a ore scanner, and I determined it not because you're going to throw this ship away anyway. Or it's a platform to build upon, or whatever I said about it. And now I determine whether, or which asteroid is the closest. It's this one nine kilometers out. I have my uh, sector set to like ten kilometers wide, so that's why it's nine kilometers out from starting. But I don't have a decent, or no, I do have a decent top speed. That's what, no, oh, what am I doing? 225? So yeah, that's about max. Or close to max. Will you stop that? Oh, I'm switching cameras. Okay. I think this is the... This is cockpit camera. Come on, there you go. Oh, there we go. And now I switch to the um, mining camera. I'm explaining this is a spot miner, and I'm going to try to mine the... Is that Ramit or Surtees? Whichever. And I'm wondering, why isn't this working? Then it dawns on me, oh, you idiot. You messed something up. There's supposed to be an and there. And now I try to rewire it without removing anything. So there goes the... That, and that goes into the delay. There you go. And don't remember the knot needs to go into the and. There you go. And it's the little spot miner. All right. Not a bad little spot miner, if I do say so myself. Not the greatest thing on Earth, but it's decent for, oh, what the mm, half a minute you're going to spend buying the stuff you need on the market plus the blueprint. 
as a little starter miner. I think I ended up calling the blueprint the 608 Mini Miner. And I did not put a faction module on it. Not that it actually needs a faction module, but I should probably do that next time I load it up. But this was the uh, first in my minor series. Uh, you thought it would be a major series. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is going to be the first in the minor series, a little starter miner. Then I'd like to make like a medium miner. Then a larger miner. And I want to make a mining titan. I think that would be fun. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. But it's going to be awesome. Just trust me. I know these things. <laughs> yep, there we go. Just mining all the stuff. And I haven't been mining long, so I check the stuff. And that's not bad for not having not mined long. Enough to buy me enough resources to buy, a, like, a gun to stick on here. It has no weapons, by the way. So, yeah, there's that. Alright. Anywho, I have been JW608. This has been... Well, it's been me talking over StarMade. I'll dig you cats. Later.